Blimey, is that a $2 bluey big backyard coloring book? You're in for a treat, because in this video, an Australian horror artist is in his natural environment. Hold on to your socks, mate, because this video is going to be a wild ride. I got my hands on a bluey coloring book, which, if you don't know about bluey, it's a massive kids cartoon from Australia, which is where I'm from, so I thought it's about time I corrupt one of these coloring books. If you've stumbled across this video thinking it's a kid-friendly video on how to colour in a bluey colouring book, that's not what this is. I'm going to be transforming a bunch of these pages into horror versions, so if you don't like scary things, don't watch this video. But if you do enjoy horror content, you should definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos like this each week, and that way you won't miss out. There's going to be a lot of different horror references in this video, so see if you can figure them out. I'll be getting inspiration from different horror games, cryptids, and other spooky things, so hopefully you find that fun trying to figure them out. I've also set a challenge for myself to try not to overly rely on using blood for each of these horror drawings. If you haven't guessed it already, the first transformation of Bluey is of course inspired by Five Nights at Freddy's, turning her into a withered animatronic that hungers for human flesh. And dog treats. Okay, John, that was an interesting drawing, but in this one, we're going to do something a bit more family friendly, so everybody can enjoy. Let's grab our textures with some pretty colours and start colouring the picture as it is meant to be. None of this horror nonsense. Wait a second, Jordan. What are you doing? Don't stray from the lines. Where are the pretty textures gone? What are you doing, Jordan? The man from the window. I'll be pretty impressed with anyone who guessed this horror reference. It's from an indie horror game about a creepy man who is trying to abduct someone from within the house. A wonderful story of friendship and... <laughs> It's not as horrible, okay. These pages aren't really intended for Copics. People are going to be using crayons, pencils, textures, cheap art supplies, basically. So, I thought I'll try using some extra cheap art supplies. So I got my crayons out and I'm having a wonderful time forgetting the stresses of horror drawings, drawing twisted things from my imagination, blood, Gore, and instead drawing beautiful landscapes, green trees, and wait a sec, what's that in the background? Oh, damn it. I was doing so well. This is probably one of my favourite transformations of the video. It just makes me laugh. The contrast between the gritty and rustic looking Trevor Henderson's siren head and the happy, cheerful crayon landscape surrounding it. The dichotomy of it makes me laugh and it's going to be a hard one to top. Next up, I'll be transforming Bluey's mum. And lately I've been getting a little bit of inspiration from the Tim Burton style, more specifically for this one, Corpse Bride. So I wanted to try to get some of that feel into this drawing. It was a bit of a challenge, but hopefully you enjoy how it turns out. Mainly I just like the worm coming out of her eye. <laughs> just such a funny character design.
All the Americans out there freaking out about how us Australians spell mum. If you're a Tim Burton, or more specifically a Corpse Bride fan, let me know how you think I did for this transformation. A quick warning, if you have trypophobia, you might want to skip this next drawing, as it has lots of little holes with little things inside of those little holes. It's going to be a little bit gross if you're not into that type of thing, and who is into that type of thing, let's be honest. But for everyone else, enjoy being slightly disgusted, but there's a bit of detail in this, so hopefully it's fun to watch. Its little eyes are watching you. Always watching you. I'm sick to death of drawing lots of tiny little eyes, so in this one we're going to transition to drawing just two massive eyes. Can you think of a horror character that had two wide eyes? Gross pinkish skin, scaly legs, greasy lank hair. A character which was feared by the internet that if you even mention the name on YouTube, your video would get demonetized. Those were the days, weren't they? Getting demonetized just for mentioning a fictional character. Well, that's YouTube for you. <laughs> I sound bitter, don't I? I am. I am bitter because I feel like I have to tread so carefully whenever drawing any horror stuff here on YouTube for fear of my videos getting demonetized. So I'm not even going to say the character's name. But if you know, you know. I can't tell if this transformation is creepy or just cute. Like, there's something kind of cute about it? Is that just me? It looks like a little rodent. You kind of just want to give it a cuddle or something. I mean, it might gnaw your eyeballs out or chew your neck open, but it does it in a friendly, cuddly way. Australia is known for our beautiful beaches, so I'm glad this coloring book has a page to reflect fun in the sun, in the sand, and all the different games you can play. And I definitely do not have sinister plans of transforming this sand mermaid into something a lot more horrific. I wouldn't do that. I'm gonna draw this one nice. Yep. Ah, yes, that's more like it. I held off from drawing blood and gore for as long as I could, but the setup of this page, I couldn't resist, it was just right there. It looked like her legs have been ripped off and there's guts everywhere. How could I resist this one? It was a perfect setup. I'm sorry. This kangaroo is going to be one of the stranger transformations of this video, and what I have in mind probably means one of my black markers is about to die. R.I.P.
I think I've just created a new horrific monster to haunt my dreams. It is Cartoon Kangaroo, inspired by Trevor Henderson's Cartoon Cat. This is one Skippy you wouldn't want to see on the side of the road on a late night drive home. Definitely not. This will be the last transformation of the video. It's a wonderful scene of Bluey and her dad lying in the grass together. Definitely going to be a happy one. No sinister plans with this one at all. Thank you for watching the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and a massive thank you to all of my amazing patrons who support my channel. You guys are awesome, I really appreciate you all, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. That sounded creepy.